Now, what was that? I'm just like, <laughs> hold on. No, Mercedes, the thing that gives me, the thing that gives me about the whole thing, listen, you have to understand, when people say things, they're saying it with an intention to do something. They're trying to get some type of feeling, reaction, something out of you. I didn't mess up my family. I still have my family. I have my kids and myself and my people. That's my family, okay? A no good, ancient man that can't do right by me will never be missed over here, okay? Let's get that 100% understood. I'm just saying, okay? Just get that understood. Y'all like ain't good, ain't shit, cheating ass, even men. Girl, have at it, girl. You can have it. Get somebody else to do it, okay? Yeah. I'm new. I think you're beautiful. Thank you. I'm just like so out of breath. <laughs> this doesn't even make sense. What the fuck? Um, they act like they all live the perfect girl. They do live the perfect life. They don't. At least they think they don't. And who am I to tell? Who, who are we to tell another person they don't have the perfect life? Unless you know, like, somebody's getting beat on, like, physically beat on, abused. Girl, hush. Hush. Don't say nothing about their man. Don't say nothing about that relationship. Don't say nothing about nothing. Okay? I'm convinced that some people like to get cheated on. They like to get mis uh, abused and used and, you know, hand over all their money to a bum and take care of a man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, like, almost convinced that that's what women like to do. Because, you know, you know, you know. Anyway. Okay, I think everything's clean. Ugh, you guys, I just gotta fold some clothes and I don't fucking feel like it. Anyway, let's get back down to business before that little trolley, that little trolley, trolley, trolley came in. Girl. Period, girl. Girl, I know. Don't put it. Girl, they put a whole child molester on a pedophile. I'm going to put a pedophile. They'll put a whole child molester on a pedestal before they, before they admit they fucking with me. It's okay. Let them do what they do. Do you, baby? Just keep that shit from me. You feel me? All right, I'm going to stop moving right now. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. I'm not moving no more. I'm just, I was just trying to clean up as much as I could. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Okay. You guys, let's talk, okay? Can we get the likes up? Let's get the likes up. I'm going to always fall. I feel like when I do move and I get a place, this will go like in my office area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have like a whole way that I'm just like, hmm? <laughs> a and A, I actually wanna talk about that. You know what, no, I might not be single for much longer, which is so crazy to me and I don't even wanna like really admit that. Like, you guys, I'm so like, eh, about relationships. like. Mm. <laughs> so I'm like, they do laugh so hard when I do this face. You guys, make sure y'all have a screenshot, okay? I know people like to catch me in the most ugliest looks. <sighs> yes, Coco, it is. Um, it is, it is my big anxiety. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why am I like this? It's so weird. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. It's so weird to be like this about relationships because honestly, I kind of a little bit wanted a relationship. Like, if it was gonna be a good relationship. But then when I have it, like, here you go. You have it. Like, I'm like, ugh somebody else to do it. You feel me? <laughs> like, I don't want it no more. I love you too, Dr. Kimberly. Oh, thank you, Leah. I do feel like my skin is glowing. It is peeling too, though. Don't zoom in, girl. It's peeling because, you know. I told you guys, once my skin got a little red and flesh, I got a little sunburn, it was going to turn all gold. You know, my melanin was going to pop. I told y'all. We're not done. We're going to go back to the sun. We're going to be in the sun all summer long, baby. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm iffy about. Yes, Anna. And not because he's a bad dude. I've been telling y'all for the longest time he's a really good guy. He is. Like, he is such a good person. Like, he's never called me on my name. He's never really been rude to me. You guys, even when he texts me, he writes, like, all the cuss words. Like, he doesn't even like to cuss to me. Like, not talking about me, but, like, when he's talking about a situation, like, he doesn't like to cuss. Even in our text messages, like, he bleeps all the cuss words. <laughs> and that's, and honestly, the way that he is always kind of made me feel like, like, you know, he's a really nice guy and he's a really nice person. Like, but what if I, what if I get bored? What if I don't like it? What if, what if, because I'm me, you know what I mean? I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to be real deal with y'all. My name is Olivia, and I can be a toxic bitch sometimes. Like, with all of the trauma and everything I've been through, um, I can be toxic sometimes when it comes to relationships. I'm trying my best, and I am a work in progress, and I have gotten a lot better. But I have my toxic ways, and I like a little toxic back. Does that make sense? <sighs> but I am getting better. And honestly, when I do look back on, like, our full relationship, like, as long as I've known him, and the facts... Leo, why are you saying this? And the fact that he has such a good track record with me, like, he doesn't bring me drama, he doesn't upset me, he doesn't hurt me, he doesn't take from me, he doesn't... He doesn't have, have a history of doing any of those things. Like, I think I've been a little bit more drama to him just because of everything I've been going through. Tammy, I'm gonna call you, baby. I'm gonna call you right after this live, okay? I think of anything, I, I'm like more drama to him because of everything I've been through and he's like stuck by me through it the best way he could. Anyway, with that, all that being said, he still wants to be with me. And I think I'm gonna give it a try. I think I'm going to give it a try. It's gonna take some time and he already knows this. But like another thing, we were just talking, we were just talking on the phone and like, in his mind, we're together. And I'm just like, no. And maybe this is toxic, but you guys, like, I want somebody to, like, really, I don't know, I just want, like, the romance, and I want the cute shit, and I want, like, the love, and the, I want you to show me, like, how much you're into me. Yes, he shows me all the time, but, like, 
I feel like if he wants me to be his girl again, I want him to like ask me like in a really cute way. Like, I want you to take me out and I want you to ask me to be your girlfriend. Like you have to ask me that. He was like, well, he's like, I thought you just made the decision that you're my woman. I'm like, mm-mm, I made that decision. You have to make that decision. What the heck? Uh, that's another thing. Like, I like aggression. He's not like aggressive. He's aggressive, but he's not like aggressive. Does that make sense? Like he's not controlling. And I kind of like a little controlling shit. It's toxic. I know, that's toxic. I shouldn't be like that. I should not be like that. I shouldn't like that type of shit, but 